What's up tech downloaders and welcome to another two minute tech video. In this video we're going to just give you some quick instructions how to get Fortnite up and running on your brand new Galaxy Note 9. We're also just going to give you a quick review on how the Note 9 actually handles Fortnite. Now if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also share your thoughts in the comments down below. Now let's put two minutes on that clock and let's get started. So the first thing is locating the game. You'd actually have to go to Epic's website. The game is not in the Google Play Store as normal. You can download the game directly from Epic's website. Once the game is downloaded, it's going to download an installer into your phone. That installer will be responsible for installing all the content that the game provides. Now we do, or the game does recommend that you install this via Wi-Fi because it's just a lot of information. It may be too much for your data. Some people have different data plans. So Wi-Fi is definitely suggested. Uh, once that install begins, it's going to take about maybe 10 to 15 minutes for everything to just download optimize and bring you to the actual login screen where you can either create a new account or log in with a pre-existing Epic Games account. Now bear in mind that if you have a PlayStation account and you're playing Fortnite on PlayStation right now, as of right now, it's tied specifically to PlayStation. So you may want to look that one up. Now, once you're inside the game itself, you can do some more control tweaking and you also have access to a special skin that Samson offers to Galaxy Note 9 users. Now the actual performance on the Note 9 in regards to Fortnite is actually actually what you would expect from a mobile game. Uh, the Note 9 actually handles the performance of this game pretty well. I didn't see any hiccups. I didn't see any slowness. Um, any latencies uh, was basically on my part because I'm not used to not having a controller in my hand. I'm more of a console gamer. So I wouldn't say the latency was on the part of the device itself. I think the Note handled running Fortnite as best as it could. Right now it's probably your best bet as a mobile device for running running this game. Sound quality was great. The video quality was great. The controls were great once you got used to it. And I think it really presents a really nice, uh, quick access to Fortnite if it's something you're looking for on the go. So definitely check it out, especially if you have a Note 9. Now, if you enjoyed the video, guys, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also share your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Until next time, peace out.